What's up everybody? At least once in your life you get a miracle, they say, and we figure that Japan's was Miyajima. Isn't that right, buddy? And here we are on our way to Miyajima. They've got two boats over here that run about every 10 minutes. It's really easy access. They're two different companies. I'm not really sure why they're competing so hard against each other here. The Miyajima station here was redone around 2020. They've got all kinds of new restaurants, a brand new modern look, and now we're gonna check out some of the things on the other side. The station has a beautiful museum where you can find all kinds of different information about Miyajima, and they have a seasonal section in the back that changes as well. well look at this, we got a question. How tall is the Otori Gate? Hmm, maybe 25 meters? Oh, 16, I went too high. About the same size as the Great Buddha of Nara. Okay, okay. I'm an American. I don't really know the meters to feet ratio. I gotta try harder. No Japanese train station is complete without a souvenir shop. Look at all the stuff. Miyajima had 4.5 million visitors in 2019, and that number has gone down by more than half. So, we thought we'd be here to help them out. The ever elusive vending machine. Didn't expect to find that on the boat. We are fresh off the boat, as they say, and boy, I'm getting a little bit hungry. So hopefully we can find some cool spots to eat, as well as some neat little Miyajima treats. And if you look over here, they also have an aquarium. Now, we're not gonna be going here today, but uh, for those of you who like sea critters, this might be a thing for you. Now, we just got here and some of the buildings, they have just a really cool vibe to them. It's got that old town, old Japan town kind of feel. But this was an island with over 4.5 million sightseers. And I can't believe what I'm seeing. This place is almost like a ghost town. So basically what I'm trying to say is we got the whole island to ourselves. Let's see what we find. The deer in Miyajima, unlike the forest of many places overseas, they let you get this close to them. Isn't this incredible? But uh, I don't think if I rode him, he would be very happy, but basically, they're used to people. Shka-chan. Mikan. Mix. No, soft. Oh, hitotsu. Yeah. Ah, go mnasai, kai temu ii desu ka? Ah, dajun desu. Eto, choko. I got some uh, deer poop ice cream that we just found. Couldn't resist, I had to get the chocolate. Light sin. There was a thousand two hundred and thirty in for this poop ice cream. It better be super tasty. Poolicious. It better be poolicious, that's right. Not horses, the deer. They make the deer work for a fine uh, a fine cost. So Little, little poo kanpai. Little poo kanpai. Hey, hey. Poo to you, friends. Poo to you. Oh. The deer poo is a, got a crispy, crunchy flavor to it. I don't know, guys. I'm not really sure about this one. Um. And now we're in the Miyajima Shotengai, which a Shotengai in Japan is basically just a shopping street 
a lot of times they have these covered rooftops and we've got all kinds of interesting shops here in the Miyajima area. Some of the local popular souvenirs. If you're looking for a rice scooper, I know a guy. These are little tiny rice paddles, which are pretty, rice scoopers, I guess you should say. They're pretty famous here on the island. They sell them as little keychains. You can even customize and get your own name written in Japanese on them. Miyajima is famous for anago meishi. Anago, which is a variation of eel, is uh, something that might not be common in your country, but we are able to try it here on Miyajima and they say it's delicious. Can't wait to eat it. And we're about to enjoy some anago meishi, or eel rice, as they call it. I found a friend. I'm not sure if he wanted to eat with me today, but uh, I wasn't planning to share. Hey, buddy. No. This is for me. My eel. Ooh. I didn't think he was gonna get this poison personal. Pro tip, don't eat by the deer. It's not a good idea. The guy was not gonna leave me alone. So we had to walk over here to a different section. All right. Itadakimasu. Mmm. Oh, yeah. I don't know what I was expecting. I mean, slippery, slimy eel, you know, I wasn't really having a good first impression when I stuck that in my mouth, but it's not too bad. Uh, it's got some uh, really nice, yummy rice mixed in there. Some of these little yellow and purple pickle things. Yeah, not too bad. The oyster life cycle very much dictates how they are taken care of on the farm, or so to speak, the water below where they are grown. It takes 18 to 24 months before they can reach their full growth and they can be eaten and put into our bellies. You want a belly like Buddha? You gotta eat the karage. And just in case you're interested, Miyajima's got this place with parody t-shirts. You can see the death of junk food. I'm not sure if it's Colonel Sanders. And then the same Ronald McDonald down here is uh, puking the same colors that uh, Skittles look like. Taste the rainbow. Momiji. Momiji manju. Momiji manju is a specialty treat here in Miyajima. Momiji means in English, the maple leaf. So you have these little sweets filled with different gooey goodies inside in the shape of a maple leaf. This is a specialty shop that has the fried momiji and we're gonna check it out. Oh, hey. Hey. Ooh, this is pretty cool. Got this old. Japanese diner feel to it with rice scoops. And you thought this was a cigarette vending machine. They sell Momiji Manju magnets for $15. And what better way to celebrate a fried Momiji sweet store than to put a shrine here and dedicate it to this snowman slash deer guy holding a fried momiji stick. It says the Miyajima Take Kushi. This is a Kushi here, that little skewer. Kaishu no Mamori Hewa no Age Momiji thing. Oh, we got something beeping. It's time. Hey. Hey. Oh. どうもありがとうございます。これがクリームレアチーズですね。はい。We're going to dig into our first fried momiji manju made with all organic oils, I'm sure. Let's take a little bite off that guy. Oh yeah. Mmm. That fried cheesy goodness. 
They got four flavors that you can try. The cheese, the lemon, the chocolate, and the cream. Craft beer in Japan is slowly, slowly becoming more and more popular and on the rise. And in turn, Miyajima has its own brewery. They make their own local beer here and it's becoming quite popular, they're realizing, with many of the people coming to visit the island. So our cameraman, he's quite thirsty. Let's uh, get something in his belly. Oh, ja, Hiroshima Red Pale. If you buy three, you get 200 yen off. I couldn't say no. I better wisen up with this bison. Nope. What am I doing? We got three draft beers to taste test today. We've got the Lager, the Hiroshima Red Ale, and the Weizen. Or if I read it off the paper, it just says Weizen to me. So, time to Weizen up and uh, have a nice sip. Oh yeah, it tastes like Miyajima. Oh, can't forget about the cameraman. Kanpai. We just got out of the Shoten Guy or the shopping district, and now we're gonna go check out some sights. Got our two giant lion sized guardians and a massive stone torii gate here that we're gonna pass through. This kind of looks like the one out there, the big Miyajima one, but uh, this is a stone replica. So you got all these little stone little light towers here with some uh, Japanese writing on them and the beautiful view of Hatsukaichi. If you look over there in the water, you can see all the different boats going back and forth. It really shows how much uh, travel is needed to get back to the island. There's not too many people swimming across. I'd say that's a good couple kilometers. And here we are at the Miyajima Tori Gate, which is currently under construction. It should look like this. In 2019, as a World Heritage Site, the World Heritage Site Committee decided to get together and plan the restoration of this beautiful World Heritage Site. And everyone was complaining because during the time of the Olympics, no one was going to be able to see it. Well, World Heritage Site Committee, we think you picked the best timing possible. Because, well, no one's able to come to Japan right now and not a lot of people are being able to see it. But in 2022, it should be back in action, just in time for all the sightseers to come and check it out. Make sure you wear the right shoes because if you don't, you might not be able to walk all the way up to the gate here in this swampy territory. If you look real close, some of these guys there's little shellfish inside there, and uh, there are uh, lots of them. <laughs> so if you uh, want to get up close and rub the gate for good luck, you might, uh, you might want to come check this part of it out. The tide here in Miyajima, it changes. So here during the daytime right now, you're able to walk right up to it but uh, maybe later when the tide's much higher, just in a few hours, all of a sudden, you can't get anywhere near it. That's why they call this shrine right behind us, Itsukushima Shrine, the floating shrine. This shrine here is where they have many weddings and you can have your wedding overlooking the beautiful gate behind. It is a shrine and they have uh, shrine-like things on the inside where you can offer incense or uh, see some other kind of ceremonies take place sometimes. But, but it's become more of a tourist attraction and you pay an admission fee to get in and to see it. So behind me you can see traditional Japanese clothing worn by people at weddings the girl with the white and the guy with the black hakama. And uh, they're being taken around by this 
man powered car and uh, it's quite the experience for them on their wedding day I'm sure. We've got Itsukashima Shrine behind us and you can see now why it's called the floating shrine because here the tide is low and you can just walk right up to it. Um, when the tide is high that water comes up right up to the dock area there and it looks like it's floating. Let's go ahead and take a look through the inside. Ready? Go! Whoa! That was a great quick look. All right, we had a great time in Miyajima with you guys. Got our bellies full and uh, ate some nice surprising treats. But uh, if you want to see more videos about Japan and work and life and culture here, check out some of our other videos here to the side. Hit the subscribe button in Belmark. We will see you guys in the next trip.